pile around. Let me uh, save the video. <clears throat> you're, like that. After, you're not. You're taking that. So my paperwork is here. Sure. Yeah, I can remember all the people on our team. <laughs> And that one guy, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the tally. Yeah, yeah. The tally. Is he the one that's like 15? No, no, he's not that young. Here's another guy. The guy he could play, though. He's really? a lefty. Really? Uh, he, I've never seen higher pot flies than this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it we all can't hit? Like, is it as, I mean, I just, I, I see people hit the balls. Is it like, because is it the timing? 17 guys on our team just. Play no, but like, I mean, there's some decent sized guys that we still can't hit the ball yeah. very far. Bat That's speed. what I understand. Yeah, it's bat, bat speed? speed? Yeah. It's bat speed and. Well, not when you're missing. You can hit it with a slower bat. You just can't. Well, yeah. but you're not hitting it hard. I mean, you need to you play gotta, more. It'll yeah. come, come. We'll have our batting average up over Yeah, there are times, especially when it's cold, I'll notice our guy. There are times our team looks so old. Yeah. When it's, you know, it's. 40 compared degrees. To, compared to yeah, yeah, compared to other. I think there's other teams that do a lot more conditioning work than oh, we I do. Suspect. Well, they're younger. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, not all of them. They're still the older guys. They're just better in shape. Some of those teams are out there, you know, they're out there early in the spring. Right. They're actually yeah. Stretching out. out and the whole well, bit. Some really? of the, the double oh, yeah. A teams. I saw more with double A teams, and they were out there consistently. Even yeah. teams they, we they played did, against. Like Little League. Yeah. You know, these sure. guys are out there three or four times. Right. See, teams we played against, those guys were our age and in much better shape. That's all there was to it. We didn't play anybody our age. Young, well, roughly our age, a little bit younger, probably a lot, yeah. and a lot younger in some cases. Okay. All right. Uh, Everyone got your talking points. Mm, I think so. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna spin the thing around. Yeah, you're actually gonna you're gonna spin it. So whoever okay. starts, whoever talking, starts talking, talking, it's yeah. gonna <laughs> go. It's gonna go. So if Dan starts talking, it's, it's gonna come back. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, poker chip. Yeah, it's poker chip. Welcome to the first annual Nuts Roundtable, where the Nuts talk about the franchise. I have uh, the pleasure of introducing you, the, the manager and general manager of the CDs Nuts. Hi, Rick Woolley. And the Dodgeball general manager, Dave uh, Dodgeballs. Dave Dodgeballs. And Mike. Mike Basketball. And I'm your host, Tree. <laughs> So let's just start off the the subject and uh, talk about uh, our records generally. Uh, uh, where do you guys uh, think the, the the teams are going to go as a franchise, and do you think we're going to get any better players, Rick? I don't think we're getting any better, and um, I can't imagine anyone wanting to play with us next year. <laughs> Dave, uh, we have to get younger just to field the team. Mike, yeah, we can't get younger because you have to be at least thirty-five. So we're screwed. <laughs> Uh, what about the possibility of going into the 40 and over league? Do you think we have any potential there? Rick? Uh, I'd be embarrassed to do that. Dave? Uh, I want to start now. How about the 50 and over league? Yeah, if, there's a, if there's a 40 and over league, we're signing up tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> it's a done deal. Dodgeballs? Do you think that's uh, anything possible? Yeah, I do. I think that's very possible. And they should start a league just for us. Six foot and under, maybe. That's right. yeah. um, let's start with you, Dave. Dodgeballs. Um, stats this year. How do you think you guys did in the uh, uh, dodgeball league, uh, stat wise? I mean, for each throw, do you think they were throwing uh, hit ratio, uh, what, two to one? No, one to two? nowhere near. About one to five. It's uh, it, That's not one of our strengths, Tree. Just not one of our strengths. Uh, we have a hard time catching it as well. Rick, you know, goes right Rick CD Nuts? What was their stats this year? What were we looking at? Back? Batting. I think as a, as a team, I think if our average was anywhere over the Mendoza line, we would be shocked to know that. Oof. Basketball, where's the percentage there? <sighs> Win percentage was about 400. But, uh, you know, that doesn't matter because we all make the playoffs and you got to play everybody. So. Bait or softball? Softball. Looks like uh, you know some of the guys had a pretty good year. Um, no, we're talking nuts. We're not talking. We're, we're oh, talking nuts. We're not talking CDs in nuts. general. Yeah, we're well, talking, well, actually, think? year over year stats were a little disappointing. You know, we had close to 50 less hits, about 30 less walks. Um, so overall, our runs were down and wins along with it. So you know, until guys want to start. Taking a walk here or there, you know, we're going to struggle. Now let's get down serious. Awards this year. Oh, okay. Um, 
there's a lot of candidates out there for best looking this year. Mike, off the basketball team, who do you think are two potentials? Uh, you know, Hunt and Davenport or Hotties. Dave? Uh, dodgeball? Softball? Uh, dodgeball, you have to go with uh, Reagan and Kigger, I think. Well, I think Kinger's eliminating. He's already won. He's already won. Oh, that's He's already won right. Once. Rick, what do you think on the CDs nuts? Uh, who's good looking? Who's got the Who's got the gams? Who's got the legs? <laughs> Red Pat's got a bad leg, but he's still pretty. He's pretty. He's a pretty. He's a handsome man. Say it, yeah. Say Chris Red Pat. You can say that again. <laughs> and Chris Red Pat's a handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> and we will. <laughs> Slow but handsome is that? <laughs> can I just give you a stat? Darren Davenport, okay. It sounds great if he makes 60% of our points, right? Right. But when you think we only score 40 points a game, that's only 24 points a game. <laughs> What's the big deal? You know what? If he would pass to me half the time, I would probably score twice as many points. Now, the team would not score any more points, but I'd be looking better. He, he's not that tall either. <laughs> and he, he uses a lot of bungee cords. It's really <laughs> bothers me. It's an inside joke. <laughs> Those CDs nuts. I've been at a few of those games, and I just want to say I was darn right, well, you know, embarrassed. You know, where were the wise? There were no babes there at all. It was just me. Sure, the guys kept whistling, but, you know, <laughs> it gets a little old, you know? When your children won't show up to watch your dad play, <laughs> I just, uh, can I just get a second? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Kevin, yourself. Dave, what? We had 15 fans this year, and we had like seven repeat. You know, where was your wife? Never there. Exactly. Never there. The, the kid was there. The kid was there. I don't think we, the team. We didn't have any dogs either. He didn't even watch. He went off played. He did. And I think he lost your son's bat as well. So yeah, there we I'll go. talk to you about that later. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Basketball. What? Your family shows up for the playoffs? We Doesn't had, tell anyone else they're going? Tell you what, we had one game where the wives showed up. It was a playoff game, and when the game was over, they actually turned to us and said, Did you win? <laughs> Well, I think that really sums up the evening. 2011 looks pretty much like it did this year. Pretty half-heartedly attended. Wouldn't you agree, Rick? Yeah. Any last thoughts? Uh, we'll get them next year. Future. Oh. oh, yeah, that's right. Any last thoughts? Yeah, I think some future nut uh, opportunities. we got to look at a soccer team. I mean, you know, we have Tony Slopez just waiting for us That's to get going with soccer. <laughs> not a sport. Um, not a sport. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you can argue that. I, I'm all in for the football league, the football watching league. Watching? Yes, watching. Uh, watching league. Um, I'm in for men's badminton. I think badminton would be a great sport this uh, 2011. Rick, you, any sport? Anything? I'm really not. I, this has been a tough year, and I'd just like to just also say that I was not at a lot of our games, so I, I really can't be held responsible for what's going on. So you so what you're saying is, as the manager, as the manager and the GM, you're not responsible because you weren't there. I'm just saying that there is plenty of blame to go around. I I, would, I did the best I could with what I had. I mean, I can't I can't make people not come to the games. <laughs> If they're going to show up, they got to play, and that's uh, it's not my fault. I'd like to. Uh, there was a lot of other people we can blame. Last thoughts, Dave. Bowling, I think definitely oh, bowling. Okay. Last thought, Mike. Yeah, I just want you to know, Tree, that you not being there this year, none of the guys, none, all right, a small, none of the guys other than a small handful thought that it had anything to do with us making it to the championship. <laughs> Almost none of them. I don't understand what you just said. What did you just you say? Because you weren't there. They went to the this game. They because I, I, no, I got that. <laughs> I didn't understand why you were saying that. Oh. I just want to say thank you very much and good night. Good night. How does that good thing?